So we start off usually around 7 a.m. Some of us go um, to the lake to swim. No, the river. We don't have a lake. Um, did you go to that? Yeah, I did. I, I, I went this mm. morning, actually. All right. Even some people, when they're filming, on the day they're filming, they go and swim. Um, that's when we have breakfast. It was so good today, right? Oh my gosh, the food here is always so good. <laughs> yes, yeah, yeah, like I left the cabin, smelled the French toast. It was delicious. <laughs> you know, I could smell it from the cabin. And then straight into film production or music production. All the film kids, they do three and a half hours of the first shoots and they work on about four films, whether it's producing, uh, grip, acting, you know. And so what I believe the music people do is just get together and fucking vibe. Oh. Can I cuss? I'm a right. Should I? Okay. I, sh I, sh I didn't know. Where's this coming from? Um, you're either shooting on your film, you're helping out with someone else's film, you get down to business. We come back for lunch around 12, and then at 12.45, we do another three and a half hours of just filming for another projects and just grip and acting and all that. I've always enjoyed the sets personally as a filmmaker. I've always found that there's really good cohesion and collaboration, a lot of respect, a lot of respect that you might not even find in the professional world. In the evening, there's always some sort of activity where we all get to just let loose and have fun. Um, then we meet up again at six for dinner. Eat again. So much good food. I cannot stress that enough have some crazy fun event like at seven, whether it's karaoke or a little talent show. And then there's campfire, which I think is arguably the most integral part of the camp. <sighs> campfire is like the epitome of Prodigy Camp, honestly. Campfire is essentially the core of Prodigy Camp. Um, it's kind of where everybody just starts to connect and get to know each other because camp's really not that long. So you're here for you know, four to maybe six days. And you come in as strangers and then you leave knowing everything about each other and connecting in a way that, in a kind of vulnerable way that I've never had anywhere else. The, these ideas that they present could happen years ago, it could be something very recent, but it's something a lot, of, a lot of the times that they're struggling with or an idea about the world. And you really kind of get a beautiful window and insight into each person's life, essential, lives essentially. I think it's really helpful sometimes when we provide advice or just um, reassurance of how wonderful each person is, but it's also just so helpful to get a lot of that stuff off of your chest. Um, and a lot of things that are shared at Campfire haven't been shared before ever. Um, so just having a really safe space, I think, is what Campfire is to me. Emotional honesty is hard for people to have with themselves, let alone other people. And so that's scary and also so exciting because the connections that we make from sharing such vulnerable stories are absolutely magical. I've never had the same kind of depth of connection. I had a really emotional um, moment last year where I finished filming my film 
Um, production was over and I went back to my cabin. I cried my eyes out and I didn't know why. I had no idea what was going on. I had like, I literally felt like I had an imposter syndrome. Um, we went to the campfire and we told our stories and the entire time I felt so disassociated and like excluded from everyone because I was going, I just wasn't know what was going on in my head. Um, I ended up going up to Rick right after the campfire and I sat next to him and I was like, hey, I don't know what's going on, but I am, and I just, I couldn't even finish the sentence. I completely broke down in his arms and I felt like my film wasn't, I, I, I just didn't know how to feel towards my film and I was just so confused what this feeling was. And then he told me, he was like, how'd the film go? And I was like, it actually went great. I don't know why I'm crying. And he told me, <laughs> which broke me completely. Um, he said, have you ever felt like, um, he told me, have you ever felt accomplished with something that you created that's so vulnerable? And I said, no, and I don't know what accomplishing something really felt like. And that was like the first time I felt that emotion almost. The best moments of my life have been in this little town in the middle of Washington. Leavenworth just feels like home. I know this place, I feel like I know every nook and cranny and corner, even though I've only spent about a week here for the past couple of years. It's my home, I like coming home. Um, I have a really hard time family-wise and um, I've never really been able to call a place, a person, or a thing a home. Found a family and um, found a home and it was, it's just, I, I'm never not gonna keep coming back. Leavenworth really feels like a little home away from home, a bit of a artistic escape and super inspiring. Like the nature and people and everything, it just is like ideas come to life and everyone's so eager to bounce off of each other's ideas and create. Leavenworth, I mean, because of this camp, I associate it with home um, or just like a second home. I definitely feel very connected with nature here. I feel very grateful to have this space to just come and reflect and connect with people. And it's hard going back to real life because people aren't as deep and people aren't as excited to look at the world in different ways and, and create art out of what we take for granted around us. So I think, um, yeah, camp is just magical and compared to real life. And even just like after camp with my parents, just walking around the town, just processing everything that was Prodigy Camp, it just, it feels like home here. Honestly, I don't know if we can attain something this great so prolonged in our lives. It's really something to really strive for coming to camp because I think everyone brings their best version of, their, of themselves in this short amount of time. And that way, I think I cherish it much, much more. And the memories just grow so much fonder and so much sweeter. Floating down the Leavenworth River Feel the tide pulling me in I don't even mind I won't even try to swim Seeing where the water might take me I don't have a place to go If I close my eyes I love this place And I've never been better But you know that a good thing only lasts so long Oh, you don't know what you got No, you don't know what you got Don't worry, that's gonna make the clips Wait, you're part of it now What's happening? What does Leavenworth mean to you? Um, Don't look at the camera. Love. <laughs>